Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to look at Packet Tracer and we're going to be doing the Cisco Networking Academy Packet Tracer Implementing Basic Connectivity. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the lab, uh, the Packet Tracer lab right here. And here are the instructions and let's go ahead and get started. So uh, first we have a addressing table two switches, two uh, end devices, as we can see right here, the objectives, and the background. So I'm not going to read that to you. I'll let you read that on your own. Uh, try to keep this video fairly short. So let's get started here. Now do notice that as we come down, uh, we do have this completion. We're looking for 88 of 88. Two out of 88 has already been done. And uh, the first time that I did this, it confused me a little bit until I realized that uh, when we get there, but uh, part of it has already been configured for us. All right, so let's configure the S1 switch uh, with a host name. So S1, we'll click it, go to CLI. And first we want to do EN for enable, and then comp T, C O N F space T for uh, configure terminal. And now let's do hostname. Hostname S1. And one of the nice things about the Cisco Packet Tracer, or oh, Cisco in general, uh, their uh, CLI um, is pretty intuitive. So if you have uh, something like hostname, you can always check it and say hostname. That is if I can spell question mark and it will tell you what it is that it's looking for here it's looking for a word and this is the systems network name so pretty intuitive in a lot of the areas so we've completed that we've entered the correct command to figure to configure the host name next we want to configure the console and privilege exec mode passwords all right so we can do that by saying uh, enable first we want to enable and we're actually going to do this one first the privilege exec mode password and if again if you do a question mark it'll show you the two options are password and secret so we'll do secret and, and remember that the CLI uses tab completion so once you've typed enough letters that the uh, the CLI recognizes that as unique. You can hit tab and it will complete it for you. So we want to enable secret and well the secret password is class. Now the difference between secret and password that you're looking at right here. So if you did enable password class you'd get the same result. Uh, the difference is how the information is stored. And we'll look at that here in just a minute. All right, the next thing is the console. And we get into the console by saying line con zero. And here we say password. And we want that to be Cisco lowercase. And also make sure that you type in login. This allows you to use that for login privileges. All right, excellent. We can go ahead and type exit, and that will bring us back to here. And we can double check, and let me show you. There's two ways to get into your start run, okay? And we want to show the run. And you can do that from here by saying do show run. If you're in enable mode, you can do that with just show run. So here's our enable secret. And notice this looks nothing like this. If we had done enable password, it would be in plain text Cisco. All right, let's go ahead and look down here. Um, we'll get down to the end. All right, we have line console and notice here the password is in plain text okay great next thing uh, how do we verify the configurations we just did that with the show run command we also need 
to configure AMOTD, Message of the Day Banner. We start with Banner, MOTD, and we're going to put our message. The important thing to remember with the message is that you can use any, um, I forgot what it's called, delimiter, there we go, any delimiter that you want. You could use parentheses or you could use dollar sign. The important thing is that the very first and the very last are identical. I like to use hashtag and we'll go ahead and put one in there that says authorized access only. And now we'll delimit. Notice the hashtag here and the hashtag here. Starts it and ends it. All right, and finally it says save it to the NVRAM. And we do that by saying copy, run, start, or if you're in config mode, do copy, run, start. It'll ask you, do you want to do that? You can just go ahead and hit enter, and voila first part is done. The next step is repeat for the second switch. Right? I'm going to go through this a little bit quicker since it's identical to what we just did. View that again. That's do show run enable secret. Good. And we just want to make sure that we have our method of the day, our banner, our message of the day, and we have our console. Good. And finally, we want to save the configuration. Do copy run start. So do is kind of like the pseudo um, override, gives you administrative privileges. It just allows you to override a command if you're in an escalation that does not normally allow it. Okay, great. So those are done. Let's go ahead and look here. The next thing we want to do is configure the PC. So we're going to click PC1, go to desktop, IP configuration, and we're going to go ahead and use the addressing scheme here 192.168.1.1 might help if there we go and that is in fact 255 255 255 zero excellent we don't have a default gateway there's no router go to PC2 do the same thing and here it's 1.2 255 255 255 zero looks good Notice our score is increasing. All right, that's a good sign. Let's look here. Okay, we've done that for one and two. Now we need to test connectivity. Click on PC1, uh, desktop, and we want the command prompt. And now we want to ping 192.168.1.253. It says this is switch one. All right, so we've gone ahead and pinged it. First one requested timeout. Request timeout. Three times. And finally, four. Okay, if sent four, zero received, lost 100%. And it says, were you successful? No, and why not? Well, we have not configured this 192.168.1.253 address yet in switch one. All right, let's continue. So now it says, let's configure switch one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go into configure terminal. That's where we're at. 
Let me just back out of this and show you real quick, however. So notice we have our banner of the day. And we also have a password. And this will be your first password, which is Cisco. And then once we do enable, we'll have another password, which will be this one. This is the exec privilege mode. And then we're back into config T. Good. Alrighty, let's see here. Following our way down, we want to do interface VLAN 1, IP address, and here it shows the command. We're going to say 192.168.1.253. There's the switch we just tried to ping with a mask of 255.255.255.0. And always remember to do a no shut. Notice it says that the change state to up. That's a good sign. And we can go ahead and exit out now. Uh, why do we enter that? Because we want it to be changed to state up. It says uh, configure to the same way. All right. So interface VLAN 1. IP address 192.168.1. Go back and look real quick. 254. All right. 255, 255, 255, 0. And no shut. Excellent. Great. All right. Now notice at this point we're at completion 88 out of 88. That means we've done all the required. Let's go ahead and look. Uh, we want to go ahead and save this. Do copy, run, start. We need to make sure we do that on switch one as well. And now it says uh, we can show the IP interface brief or the show running config. We've been doing the show, do show run. There it is. There's again, there's our secret. Oops. Hit enter or spacebar. And there is our interface VLAN 1. There's our banner of the day and our log in for password on console 0. Looks great. Let's close that. Come back over here. Make sure we do a do copy run start just to make sure we've saved it. And now let's look at the end here. So now we want to test connectivity. So we want to click on PC1, go to the command prompt, and start with ping PC2. Ping 192.168.1.2. Remember that's a dot two. All right, we're getting a reply. Four sent, four received, 100%. That's excellent. Next, we want to ping S1. So we say ping. 192.168.1.253. That's our own current switch. All right, we're waiting here. Timed out. Now we're getting replies. So in this case, we had a 25% loss. And it says right here, all ping should be 100%. So if it's not, just try it again. And we do that. And now we've got 1, 2, 3, and 4, 100% no loss and finally let's ping the second switch that was 1.254 looks like it's going to do the same thing have one timeout before it finds it and now it's finding and returning but we'll get 100 percent just to make sure one two three and four all right congratulations you have completed the packet tracer uh, 2.3.2.5. If you have any questions, uh, leave comments. Uh, please feel free to like and share this video if you have, uh, in fact, found it useful. Thank you so much. Happy coding, and until next time.